Welcome back. Today we're making a fresh pico de gallo. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coarsely chop up four large tomatoes. I want to thank my neighbor and friend Pam for sharing these tomatoes with me. She's very gracious. Unfortunately, my yard is just not conducive to gardening. It sits in a valley and it tends to flood if we get a lot of rain. And so I'd have to do a raised bed and Honestly, I just don't want to fiddle with it. And the fact that I have a black thumb kind of plays into that. So thankfully, I have generous friends who share their garden goodies with me. So once I've got these chopped up nicely and coarsely, I'm going to go ahead and add these to my bowl. You don't need to make this uniform in size. Nothing has to be perfect. It's a fairly rustic um dip and so it's really nice to just to kind of wing it so i'm going to go ahead and add the last of the tomatoes and then i'm going to chop up my onion and now i'm using just a medium size vidalia onion i like the sweet onions in this i'm not a big fan of raw onion but i believe this onion is necessary in this recipe and I chop it up fairly small. It's really up to you on how big of a chunk you want. So I just give it a nice coarse chop. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these onions to my bowl. And then I'm going to chop up my cilantro. Now I am a huge fan of cilantro. I just, I love it. And to me, it's just very earthy and very fresh and real flavorful and it's really fragrant as well and so i'm going to just give this a nice coarse chop again it doesn't have to be perfect you can cut it up as small as you'd like and once i've got that chopped up to the texture i want i'm going to go ahead and add this to my bowl and I'm going to use fresh jalapeno in this. You can certainly use jarred jalapenos. I do have a recipe for salsa that I make in the blender that I use jarred, but I really like the fresh in this recipe. And so I'm just going to go ahead and remove most of the membrane and most of the seeds. That's where your heat is at. Um, I like a lot of heat, but not everybody can tolerate heat. So I do try to make it more on the medium side. And so I am going to use two jalapenos in this recipe. You can use less if you want, or if you want to use more, that's fine. And I'm just going to give this a nice small chop. I want it fairly small. And I'm going to add this to my bowl as well. And then I'm going to juice two limes. And I think the lime juice really brings something special to this. A little zest and a little freshness or extra freshness i should say and once i've got the limes done i'm going to add some salt and i did not measure this but i used about two teaspoons of salt which may seem like a lot but really for as much salsa or pico de gallo you're making it's not a lot and i'm just going to give this a quick stir i want to make sure everything's blended well and I do like to refrigerate this several hours prior to serving and it'll stay good in the refrigerator covered for about a week. The longer it sits, the better it is. And there you go, just serve it with some chips and you have a great dip. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me in the future. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'll be posting three videos a week, two cooking and baking videos, along with one randomness vlog. And I love pico de gallo. I love salsa. I love guacamole. I like anything Mexican related like that. And this pico de gallo is so easy to make. It's quick. It's easy. There's a lot, a lot of ingredients and it's inexpensive and it tastes a whole lot better than what you buy in the store in the jar. So if you make this, let me know how it turns out for you. 
And I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day. And I will see you next time.